Hello, this is going to be a demo of the Expert Sleepers ES6, uh, though if you're looking at an ES7, the same applies, so uh, try and translate in your head. This is the ES6, which is connected to an ES3 in this demo. Um, the ES6 takes uh, an input CV from the modular, uh, which I'll show you where that's coming from in a minute, and um, outputs it to the back to the computer through the ADAT connection. Uh, in this demo the ADAT is connected back into the ES3 and the same signal um, is coming or a signal related to it is coming out of it, the ES3 output 1. So uh, that's how this side of things is connected. Moving over to the modular you can see where we've got that CV coming from that's going into the ES6. It's this uh, random module here. Uh, just generating a sample and hold random waveform that's going out. Um, the output from the AS3 is coming into the uh, CV input of this VCO. So if I turn up the the level, you hear we're just getting nice random pictures. So let's talk about the software for a moment. In live, um, We've got a number of channels uh, which aren't doing anything. Uh, that's one's just recording my voice. This is um, the channel that's basically taking the ES6 input and echoing it back straight back out to the ES3. Um, so we can do stuff to it. And this channel is just the input from the uh, synth that I'm recording so you can hear it in this movie. So um, that's all well and good. What can we do with this that's fun? Well, because the CV is going through uh, the computer, we can, for example, record it. Let me just turn the synth back up a bit. And here's the CV channel. So if I hit record, you see it's recording the random waveforms. And if we hear a bit we like, we can just go back to playing the clip instead of recording it. And we can say, loop a little section of it. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong thing, so. There we go. There we go. So that's a loop of our recorded CV. That's an interesting effect. So you can see all kinds of stuff you can do to this. And if we wanted to, I guess we could sync it to the transients and have that going in time with the beat. Let's see if I can get a... There we go. And so on, do you get the idea? So that's with a little bit of CV that we recorded through the ES6. So that's all nice. Um, you might want to do that. Now another thing you might want to do, instead of just um, record CVs, is you might want to process them using the computer basically as part of the modular system. So to that end, um, let's try and quantize this. So we'll uh, let's just turn that off for a moment. On this track, we'll uh, drop in a voice controller and turn the output on, and then we'll see if we can just calibrate the offer later quickly. There we go. And uh, we'll save the calibration out. Uh, that's that one saved. Yeah. Okay, turn off the voice controller, get our random CV back up, and then we'll drop in a silent wave quantizer. And we'll load the calibration that we just made, and we'll enable that, and we'll stick that to calibrated. And there's our CVs calibrated into the scale C major. Let's just slow down the uh, 
see if he's a bit. Just turn that off again so you can hear the difference. Completely random voltages. Random pitch voltages. So if you don't happen to have a quantizer module, then um, you're golden, really. You can just use your computer instead. And that's the end of the demo. Cheers, bye.